Hi, I'm Pox. Coach Guy. And you're watching the Two Smart Guys show live from Washington, D.C. this time. It's like the roving show. <laughs> it's time no, of year, but... like, it's the worst time of year. Like, we start, we've started the year, and I think we've almost had more traveling shows than, like, shows in the studio. It's true. We've probably only had, like, three shows in the studio. Yeah. But anyways, hacking! We're actually doing hacking again this episode. Oh my goodness. By popular demand, by, like, 90% of the votes, we are going back to our roots and we're doing PSB hacking. And well, you know. what better device to hack than the now defunct PSP Go? <laughs> well, you know, as soon as the product becomes completely defunct by the manufacturer, then, you know, of course, we'll hack it. The PSP Go, if anybody remembers, it's been out for, what, a year? Uh... Yeah, just a little over a year. Yeah, not very long. And the selling point was it had some built-in storage. It's got like 16 gigs built in. And it's small and compact and a better screen. This was the gamer on the go device. This was yeah. the person. This was the I think this was semi the executive gamer and the airline gamer. You know, someone who was stuck on a plane, a bus, someplace far far away and didn't have their stuff. All the time with them. That was the big sell point. Part of the issue was it cost two hundred fifty dollars at yeah, a time was... when the PSP was what one hundred and eighty. Yeah, hundred. Yeah, one hundred eighty, one hundred ninety, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So it was seventy five. It was seventy five dollars more expensive. Yeah, and the only real feature is it doesn't have the bulk of the UMD drive, so it should cost less. <laughs> but that's not a feature, in my opinion, because. Despite the lack of bulk from the UMD drive, and it added storage internally, so you didn't have to plug in everything, the one thing that was a non-feature was the fact that it did not they didn't have every game that they were even putting out at the time available for download. And apparently, the death has been coming for a while now because they stopped putting the new releases out for download. All of them? Uh, not all of them, some of them. I don't download them, so I download yeah. things like Angry Birds and things like that. Yeah, so apparently uh, the, the guy at the GameStop was saying, don't buy this because the new games aren't coming out for it. And I was like, well, that's not why I want it. And he said, yeah. well, yeah. Actually, this has the been upgraded. reason I want it is because I want to play Mario on it. <laughs> you should, did you, okay, tell everyone what they said to you at the GameStop because you told me and I think it's funny. Okay. So, I went to the GameStop because I saw they're only $100 at GameStop for a used one. I thought, for 100 bucks, yeah, I'll spring for it and we can finally do a show about the thing. And so, I went to the GameStop in Vegas and they said, no, we don't have any. And I've been checking GameStop since November when they dropped the price to $100. And they've all been sold out. You just can't get them. But this one checked the other local stores in the area. And the first thing they said to them, yeah, we got one, but it's already been updated. So, you can't be hacked. Like, I just think it's funny, like, the GameStop is, like, almost, like, the hacker enabler. Like, oh, this is the hackable version, this is not. Uh, <laughs> like, the GameStop guy knows. <laughs> but it's true. Like, asking me if it's hackable. Well, I don't know. Go Google it. Find out. <laughs> um, if you want the full-on cust uh, custom firmware... Where you can do ISOs and like the whole enchilada, you can't be running the latest firmware. You have to be at six point three five or lower. Tell so me this how you version do. that I'm have is running three point or six point three uh, seven. So it's beyond the point of putting a custom firmware on at the moment. For now. So, yeah, until somebody figures it out. So for the process on this one. It's actually not that bad. You simply just get any signed homebrew and you load it onto the PSP memory card in the PSP uh, game directory. Just throw the eBoot file into there. So there'd be a folder with a homebrew and an eBoot inside of it. Toss that whole thing into the PSP game folder. And it runs. So did this with Daedalus, which is a Nintendo 64 emulator. Throw a ROM in the ROMs folder in there, inside the Daedalus folder, 
and you can play it. It uh, just runs. It works. So if you wanted to run other unsigned homebrew, there's a program called Half Byte Loader. And it's, it's signed. So after you run that, then you can run unsigned homebrew, like older homebrew that hasn't been converted to signed. So that's homebrew. If you want to run backups, ISOs of UM, UMD games that you have, or newer games that aren't being released as downloads, you can convert them to eBoots. <laughs> this is a Windows only program at the moment. ISO to eBoot is the program, and it's making use of an exploit from game demos to convert oh, okay. ISOs to eBoots. So the catch is the largest available game demo is like 700 and some odd megabytes. So you can only convert ISOs that are around 700 megabytes to eBoots at the at the moment. Oh, well, how many of them, like I I guess I don't I don't have a good idea of how big they they get. So UMDs can go up to uh, a gig and a half because they're dual layer, but most okay. games don't bother doing dual layer. It's just not worth it. Yeah, but like. Uh, the Sackboy, <laughs> Little Big Planet. It's, yeah. it's a gig and a half. So that's a, a no-go that. at the moment. So hmm. that's it. That's how I you hack a PSP. Go. Somewhere. <laughs> that's, a, that's great. And, well, okay, so here's the advantage that I see in hacking a PSP Go versus a normal PSP. The same exact reason why it doesn't have a UMD is the reason why it makes a better hack device. Because it's got, what, 16 gigs of RAM built into it? Or not, or not RAM, hard drive space, 16 gigs? Yeah, yeah, it's got 16 gigs of flash in there. I think there's like... And the battery life available. longer because it does have the motor? Yeah, and it fits in a pocket, a normal-sized yeah. pocket. So, truly, like, really is a nice thing. And then you can put your movies on the little... Uh, did the, does it run only the micro um, memory stick? Yeah, it's that really funky, defunct memory oh M2. Don't even worry about it. Just put yeah. it on the hard drive. Yeah. The, the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was going to buy one, but they're like 30 bucks for like two gigs or something insane no. like that. Yeah. Not even worth it. No, with not 16 even, gigs on the inside, and you're talking about using, you know, at a gig and a half at the most for a game, I'm sorry, but that's fine. Your, your smaller games are going to fit perfectly. You're, you got a movie here and there. Yeah, it's a little pocket, little perfect device. You know. Yeah, so pick pick these bad boys up at a yard sale near you, or a pawn shop, or a friend that doesn't want to bother with hacking it, even though there's uh, it's really not really, hacking really anymore. When they say, you can't hack it, and you go, oh, hack it, and then take it home and hack it. <laughs> and if you enjoy our shows, check more of them out at twosmartguys.com. Every single Monday, we bring you a new show. If you want to catch the madnesses, the live show, it's every Wednesday night at 10.30 Mountain Time. And most of importantly, subscribe. If you're an iTunes user, just subscribe, and that way it automatically gets delivered and you're done. Not yeah, to worry. iTunes, YouTube, click on the little button that says subscribe, and leave feedback down at the bottom. Comment. Tell us what you want to see on the show. And there is so much stuff going on that I don't know what direction we're going to take next because between the news that came out today and the things that are cooking other places, there are all sorts of things. So, you know, all you geolocationators from, you know, your iPhones are going to have fun. All right. See you guys next week. Bye. Subscribe to the feed. That's all, folks. See you next week. That's all, folks. See you next week. <laughs>